for convenience sake, I'm going to divide the discussion of the monomyth into four parts. The first part being uh, a discussion of the history of the monomyth, where it came from, and everything that came before the actual publication of A Hero with a Thousand Faces. And then I will go into each of the three stages step by step and examine the actual 17-step monomyth in the subsequent videos. Uh, the term monomyth uh, means one myth. It comes from the idea that all myths and legends are the same when we're dealing with heroic tales. Joseph Campbell analyzed many historical and religious uh, stories and came up with the idea that the heroic quest was in fact an archetype, and he presented this theory in his famous 1949 book, A Hero with a Thousand Faces. This book uh, outlined all 17 steps of the monomyth. He referenced uh, the work of Carl Jung. Carl Jung was a famous psychologist who stated that the human psyche was divided into two parts, the personal and the collective unconscious, uh, the personal being our personal memory banks, the collective unconscious being our shared memory banks or our pre-programmed knowledge. And within that pre-programmed knowledge was something that he called archetypes or thought patterns or ideas that are shared by all people because they are pre-existing or pre-programmed as part of our DNA, if you will. Now, he said that the archetypal journey, Joseph Campbell said that the archetypal journey falls under this category of archetypes that Carl Jung was discussing. And he traced it all the way back to what many argue is the first heroic tale. That's the story of Odysseus's journey home in Homer's The Odyssey. Uh, this, in literary criticism terms, is a cross-section of two types of literary theories. The first is the psychoanalytical theory, which we've discussed earlier in the year, but the psychoanalytical theory is grounded in both the teachings of Freud and Jung. We went over Freud with the id ego, super ego earlier in the year. That is a part of this psychoanalytical analysis of the hero, but really the collective unconscious and the archetypes are where we camp out when discussing the monomyth, and that's part of the Jungian school of psychoanalysis. Um, it is also an examination through a structural lens, or the idea that we're bringing a pre-existing structure or concept to the text, rather than the text dictating how we analyze it. So this uh, falls into the categories of archetypes or folklore or fairy tales. We're looking for prominent patterns. In essence, we're, we're taking a square peg and we're putting it in a round hole. So we'll take an already existing step in the monomyth and we will then find it in the text that we're analyzing. Uh, you can trace the mo a monomyth today into a great percentage of the movies and the books that we are accustomed to. Um, the famous film series Star Wars is actually a genuine version of the monomyth. Joseph Campbell himself actually was a consultant to George Lucas as they were filming the original Star Wars, which you guys know as Episode Four: The New Hope. Uh, they were filming that with Joseph Campbell on set as he helped George Lucas even write the screenplay for that. So what we're doing when we're analyzing the monomyth is we are looking for specific stages and steps. It's divided into three stages. Stage one is the departure, which consists of four separate phases or steps, the call to adventure, the refusal of the call, the crossing of the first threshold, the belly of the whale, and this is where we are introduced to helpers and guides as well. The other stages include the initiation stage, which is the second stage or the bulk of the hero's journey, and the return stage. The return stage is where our hero goes from his heroic quest back from whence he came, and he's recognized as a hero in both worlds. In modern Film, primarily, particularly Disney films, this return stage has been somewhat shortchanged, and most people 
uh, prefer the happily ever after idea that usually ends at the end of the initiation stage. But that's where we see the evolution of this monomythic quest. So, as I said, I will continue on three separate videos going over each of the three stages. So you can visit those videos in order to get more specific understanding of each of the individual steps.